something a little bit different today. Normally we are doing loads of dance videos on our YouTube channel, but today it's going to be a recipe. Lots of you ask us what we eat, because Kelly and I are plant-based, so we don't eat meat and we don't eat dairy, so most of you are confused with the things that we actually have on a day-to-day -day basis. Now one of the meals that we have on a regular-ish basis, once a week or so, is a delicious lentil ragu. Uh, which I've rustled up. It's not my own recipe, it's something that I got from somewhere else a long time ago. I can't remember exactly where to be honest. And, and over, the, over the years that I've been making it, the last couple of years, I've perfected it to our own tastes. So what I'm going to do today is go through that recipe and teach you how to cook it. So you will need some olive oil, salt and pepper, some oregano, tomato puree, some chopped tomatoes, a bit of onion salt, one red pepper, some pui lentils, we buy the pre-packaged versions. Some pasta of your choice, a good handful of mushrooms, we've got uh, 10 or so there, depending on the size, depending on how many you wanna have. Some cherry tomatoes, couple of garlic cloves, and some fresh rosemary. And of course, as well, a little bit of red wine for the sauce, and some red wine to drink with it afterwards. So now it's time to get chopping. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so start by getting your saucepan and start getting it warm and pop a little bit of olive oil in there. I just swirl a bit round. I make some nice circles and a few little dollops. Quite like that. Not too much, but not. You've just got to get it just right. Let that heat up. Get your wooden spoon. I've also got another little saucepan on the go here as well, which I'll get going actually. Might as well get that going now as well. This is for Ella because Ella doesn't like the the rich sauces that we have, so uh, with all the strong flavour. So we just do a plain, I just make a plain tomato sauce for her. I just cook up some, some normal tomatoes, let them cook up in there, really simple as that, and add some tomato puree, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, and that's her done. Perhaps a little bit of water as well, just to, just to make it a little bit smoother. Yeah, and that, that does her perfectly. We add that to some pasta and she loves it. So I'll leave that going as well. So this oil should be getting nice and warm. And to that, we're going to add, first of all, our garlic. So we're going to add our garlic to that. That should start sizzling in a sec. We don't want to get it, uh, don't want to let the garlic uh, burn, because if the garlic burns, it doesn't taste too nice. So just swirl that around. Normally we have a garlic press that we use, but we can't find the press bit, which is a bit strange. I don't know where that's gone. So I've had to slice it tonight, which is okay. So that's starting to sizzle up nicely, and the, the aromas from that are just absolutely exquisite. I love a nice garlicky aroma. Not on breath, though. Garlicky aroma on breath is not so good. From food is good, isn't it, Kelly? <laughs> from food it's better. Camera work today by Kelly Ann Prouton. Yeah, it's not very good, I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> Neither is my chopping skills, to be honest, let's be honest. So, 
So I'm letting that cook in there a little bit. Now I'm going to add the onions to that as well. There's one whole red onion there. Let that cook up, let that sizzle. So we're going to stir that up a little bit. And we're going to let the onions soften and mix in with the oil and the garlic. Now I, when I make a tomatoey based recipe, I genuinely, generally sorry, like to add a little bit of red wine to it as well. It creates a very rich sauce. And you know, many of you will probably already know that I quite like to be saucy. Nothing wrong with being a bit saucy, is there, Kel? Apparently. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. Something else I was I, I learned, I can't remember where I learned it. They said to season at all stages. So a little bit of salt goes in there now as well. And a little bit of pepper. And the next thing I'm going to add will be the uh, red wine. Now what I've got is a small little bottle of red wine. I don't measure it out. It's just a, um, what is that? 187 uh, millimet millilitres. That's just going to go in now. I'm going to, I put that in early. I put that in early and I let the garlic and the onions soak all that flavour in. And once I've let that reduce a touch, that's when I add the mushrooms. Five minutes later. Reducing down nicely, starting to caramelise the, the onions mm -hmm. there. So now I'm going to add my mushrooms to that. Let them absorb and soak in the flavour. Give it a good old turn. Oh, we love a nice turn. <laughs> Spin turn. <laughs> Spin turn. Very, very difficult step, Kel. It is. Very difficult step. Very difficult to do it well. It is. Most men forget step four. Uh, sorry, step five. After the pivot. Pivot on step four. And then it's a forward action, albeit small, on step five. Stretching up. <laughs> quick rise. Get up on the end of your foot. Toe. Stretch the body. Well, you know what I mean. The end of the foot. The end of the foot is the toe. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, give the lady your body so that she can extend beautifully. Now that's the plan. So I'm just going to let that cook for a little while. Sizzling. It is, isn't it? It's lovely, delicious. The I smells are great, aren't they? Really. The smells are great. Oh, this, there's these tomatoes over there. So I'm just going to address this over here because that little squeak. Oh, there we go. Crack, crack. They're popping. They are popping a touch, they're cooking a bit. So I need to add a little bit of water to that. Turn that down a bit for you. So I'm going to come back to this in a second. <laughs> Very neat. Season at every opportunity. So at this point now, I'm also going to add my rosemary that I've chopped up. There we go. That was just a couple of little sprigs. I've added that, add that in. Smell fantastic. I'll give Ella a little stir. That's going off on one. Turn that down a touch. Leave that to cook. So this is really going beautifully now. It's nearly reduced right down. So I'm trying to reduce, get rid of the alcohol basically, alcohol content. Put that away. Now I'm going to add my oregano. Now I'm going to do a, a, a tablespoonful of oregano, approximately, sprinkle that around. I always like to get the uh, flavour of the, you know, the uh, herbs in early. And something I, I recently added, and ever since I've done that, Kelly said it's the best one I've ever done, is a bit of onion salt. So beautiful onion salt, you, can, you can't buy this in the shops like this, you see this is Kelly's own onion salt. <laughs> So that's half a tablespoon, that's a teaspoonful, sorry, of onion salt that I'm popping in there as well. It's a half teaspoon. Is that a half teaspoon? That's a half teaspoon. Oh, I'm going to do a whole teaspoonful then. There we go. Do you Another. normally do a teaspoon? Yeah, I normally do quite a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stick into it though. There we go. It's steaming in the air. I know, it's getting a bit steamy. Normally we have the extractor on, but it's a bit noisy, you see. So doing a video, it's not, not a great idea. So, give it a good old stir. 
Right, that's reduced down beautifully now. If you can get in close, Cal, you can see how all of these things are mixed in the, the garlic, the onion, the mushroom and the herbs and spices. Spices? I don't think there's any spices in there, but herbs have all mixed in beautifully. It's all quite caramelised in there. It looks quite lovely. Now I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. Just a just one tin is enough, actually. I used to add two tins, but this actually made it a little bit too watery. So I will add a bit of water to this shortly. I use the tin that I use the tin of the chopped tomatoes for the water, so that I get a bit of extra juice in it as well. For the tomato juice. Stir that in. Turn the heat down a touch now. Splatter it, do Don't want to be splattered. No, that's why I've got an apron on. Don't wear this very often. Kelly was uh, said I was very brave to wear a white shirt for this as well. So there we go. That's all gone in quite nicely. Next, I'm going to add the tomato puree. I'm going to use the onion salt spoon that I just used to get rid of a bit more of that onion salt off of there. Pop that in. Dollop it in. Look at that. You can tell I'm a professional. That spoon's not very good for that. Never used one of these before for this. Left a bit of residue in there. There we go. Stir that in. It's got a nice, already looks really rich. It's already a very rich tomato -y base for this. I'll have to add some water to that shortly as well. Another thing, add our cherry tomatoes in as well. A little bit of substance. I don't do much with those. I just let them sit in there and they just cook. And some of them, you know, they deflate a little bit. The juices come out and that sort of thing. But it adds a little something to it so they can stay in there. Now that's the base done. Now it's time to add the lentils, which are going all over the worktop. Just pour them in. This is the meat substitute, essentially last of those out. Great source of protein lentils. Tremendous source of protein. Great source of wind as well. But uh, the more you Too eat much them, info. yeah well the more you eat them the better you, the, the, the more your body gets used to it though so it's okay. So stir those in. Definitely need to add a bit of water to this. It's gone a bit thick. So nicely stirred in. So, touch of water. May need to add some more as well afterwards as well. Because what I do now is I let that sit and let it reduce. about 10 to 15 minutes and let it reduce it gets rid of the extra fluid there we go so the ragu is bubbling away nicely reducing down into a nice rich thick sauce the water's on for the pasta so we've got another five or ten minutes to wait I suppose before anything else happens so I guess Part of the recipe should be just have, have yourself a little bit of sparkling of something just to tie the time, you know. Now I've just added a bit more water to this because when you leave it for a while it does get a little bit sticky and it can reduce down a bit too much. So I turn the heat right down pretty much to off and a bit more water to soak in so that it doesn't become burnt on the bottom of the pan. Burning my arm a little bit here, you see I'm reaching across over the boiling pan of water for the pasta. There we go, that's all mixing in nicely. Nearly ready. How's that pasta doing? Oh, it's not, in, not even in there yet. Eventually. So the water's nice and hot, it's boiling away, so let's add the pasta now. Now, 
we make this for two of us. However, it does make enough for us to have as leftovers for the next day, should we want it. Sometimes, though, I have to say, it's so delicious, I have to have seconds. Um, so what I normally do, and I'm making enough pasta for Ella as well today, so what I do normally is get a good handful of the pasta. I'm using linguine today. You can use any pasta. It doesn't have to be anything specific. So uh, spirals work with this. Spaghetti itself works with this, of course, it's fine. I'm using linguine. I've got a good handful there of that. Uh, a friend of mine's got like a mach like a piece of wood with different holes in it, and he, he tells me how many people. But you know, it all depends on your appetite, I suppose. So I break that in half and just sprinkle it. And I've already salted slightly and popped a little bit of oil in the water. Isn't that naughty breaking it in half? It's not. The Italians wouldn't like it. <laughs> now I used to I used to have a very good friend of mine, a couple of friends that owned a restaurant in Ferrum, Lancora, uh, in the, in West Street. And uh, yeah, they they weren't ballistic when I talked about cutting the pasta in half like that and put, pouring it in. They weren't impressed. Also, they weren't impressed uh, at the time with how I used to serve up the, the, any kind of pasta dish with a sauce. I'd put the pasta in on its own and then the sauce over the top, which I'm sure a lot of English people do. That's not the way you do it, and that's not how we do it anymore either. So we let the pasta cook, it sits in there, it cooks away, and then we add it to the sauce, and we stir it in with the sauce. So it's all mixed in together, and then we serve it. It is lovely, actually. It's nice that way. You put so, any olive oil in there? I've done that. Oil, oh. Oiled it and salted it, and that'll take another, I don't know, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to, to, uh, 10 minutes to plate, I reckon. Really? I know, it's exciting, I'm isn't hungry. it? I'm hungry. So a friend of mine has got a good technique to know how or when the pasta is ready. What he does is he gets a bit like that and he throws it against the wall. Ha 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 ha! I don't do that though. I burn myself instead. And uh, Kelly wouldn't let me do it anyway, to be honest. No. Not no I'm not time. sure that's quite ready yet. It's a bit hard. Mm. Mm. Nearly there. Nearly there. Mm. Mm. Just check the pot, Cal. Check the pot. It's a very full pot. It is a very full pot. Very full pot. We never go hungry here, Kel, do we? We don't. We're never no. hungry. <laughs> We're but it, quite is, the opposite. <laughs> this is a very inexpensive meal, though. It doesn't cost a lot of money. I mean, pasta's not expensive, is it? No. Tin tomatoes aren't expensive. No. Cherry tomatoes, you know, give or take. You know, you don't have to have cherry tomatoes. You can have budget. I mean, 99p for a big pack of them anyway. Uh, tin tomatoes, what, 40 pence? The lentils, perhaps the most expensive ingredient in this... In this, uh, in this recipe, which are about two quid for those pack of lentils. So really, this dinner costs about a fiver. But it will do us twice. So it will do us twice. So £2.50, well, £1.25 each, yeah. perhaps per meal. So it's really quite cheap and so tasty. Oh, ah, the, the wine that I had to it was £2.15. But you don't have to add that. Don't thing. have to add the wine. Don't have to add the wine. And the mushrooms aren't expensive, are they? Mushrooms and the herbs aren't necessarily expensive, of course. It's not putting very many in. Yeah. So it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so the pasta's done. I've drained it already. I'm going to add it now to the ragu. In it goes. Look Ooh, at all that. of it. All of it. What about, all Ellis? Of it what about Ellis pasta? Oh, yeah, Ellis pasta. Well, we'll take it off the top, won't we? <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going to take it off the top. <laughs> yeah, get the tongs out. <laughs> forgot all about Ella then for a second. I forgot about Ella. How could I forget about you? Just talk about Ella's. How could I forget about you? Yes, you just did it on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose. Of course I didn't. So add that to Ella's delicious sauce. Are you looking forward to your sauce, Ella? Yes! Yes! And that's Careful on reassuring. That. Yes, isn't it? There we go. So there's Ella's added in. I'll just stir Ella's in first of all. And let's see if Ella likes the flavour. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Looks just like Heinz spaghetti, doesn't it? Really, <laughs> it does. So Ella, have so a little I need taste to of taste this. The sauce first. Taste the sauce. So you might need to blow on it because it's going to be a little bit warm. Say hello to everyone, Ella. Hello. <laughs> blow on it. Blow on it lots. Okay, now try it. Have a little it smells taste. good. What do you think of that? Mmm. Is that good? Have a little bit. Good stuff. So we'll add that to your plate. I love it. You love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you staring at me? 
So we're going to mix all this up, mix it all together, trying to get all of the pasta coated with all that delicious ragu. This does look like a lot, and I know many of you will say, my goodness, that's an awful lot. It is so delicious, though, I honestly could probably eat the whole lot. And Kelly will vouch for that. It's excessive, James. It's excessive. <laughs> but I have done it before. He has two meals sometimes when he has this. Yeah, it's so fabulous. Enough for two people. So this is a lot. This is a lot. This, this will do us for tomorrow as well, for leftovers. Or the next day, actually. It'll last a couple of days in the fridge. Easily. And then just warm it up in the microwave. Or pop it in the pan with a little bit of oil. Pop it on a bit of toast. Now, something you can do as well, of course. <laughs> you don't need to have it as a... Um, as, as like a is this, a, this is like a spaghetti bolognese replacement, of course. Delicious! Isn't it? Oh, is it nice or is it Ella? <laughs> it's 1,000, then 100, then 2. Great. There we go. Another satisfied customer. She likes hers. Let's hope you like this if you make it. Yeah, so you don't need to make this as like a spaghetti bolognese replacement. You could... You could change the oregano for cumin and chilli powder and turn it into a chilli-based dish, which, you know, would be delicious as well. Everything else stays the same. We'd add uh, a little bit of dark chocolate as well to it, perhaps, to give it a little bit of a, an extra richness, a different kind of richness. So that's all pretty much mixed in now. So all we've got to do is transfer it from the pan to the bowl. And there we go. It's all finished. Ready to eat. Can't wait. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoy it. Let us know in the comments below or on Facebook if, uh, if you've tried the recipe and, you, and you've enjoyed it. Really, I can't wait now. I've got to tuck in. I've got to go. So it's, it's time to try it. <laughs> Have a little go. <laughs> Just can't wait. Just can't help yourself, Kel. Little taste. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Is it the best one? Done. It's probably the best. Every time I do it, it's the best. Really? Every time. Really? Wash down a little bit of red wine as well. Absolutely magic. Cheers, everyone. Enjoy. Let us know what you think. Thanks a lot.